walkthrough tour of the Bahia Principe Grand Coba Resort in Riviera Maya, Mexico. So what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I recently stayed at the Bahia Principe and I started making these full walkthrough tours of resorts because I would go to a resort and spend the first couple of days kind of lost, not knowing where to go, not knowing where things are. I thought I found my way around something and then I end up not being where I thought I was and again lost. <laughs> so these are one of my most viewed videos series because everyone does not want to spend the first couple of days being on vacation trying to figure out where they are. So I started making these videos and I always start from the lobby. So as you saw, we walked right into the lobby and now we are going toward the right of the main lobby. You did see the check-in area that we just passed. And now we are walking toward the right side where you will find some of the activities that will be going on for the week right there, posted up on the wall, seating sections. And this is where all of the entertainment actually goes on, or at least most of it. As you saw the pool tables, there is a store here. If you forgot anything, it's not just clothes. They have tons of other stuff in there. And this at night was really fun. All of their stuff in here and their games were actually pretty new um, and really fun to play with. And also the sports bar, as you saw, is here as well. There is also bathrooms down this way. So if you're, you know, you come in and you're checked in and you're looking for restrooms, this is exactly... Um, you know, one of the areas that you can go to and you would find a restroom here. Now, straight ahead, this is the main hall for all of the nightly activities and shows. And that is the end for the right side. So now we're going to walk back right into the main lobby again, and we are going to go toward the left. So toward the left and you'll, you know, you, when you get there, you'll see, okay, I'm at the main lobby, right side is here, left side is here. And it just all going to make sense. I like to do, um, the walkthroughs like this, where I start at the lobby, I show you what's going on there. And then I do a full 360 walkthrough of the actual, um, resort itself to the left was another set of bathrooms, just so you guys know. So again, you're here, you're checked in and you're hanging out. There's bathrooms on the right and the left. And there's also a shop here on the left as well. Straight ahead is where you would go and you can book your reservations for dinner or some tours as well. And here is the main dining hall. So the main dining hall will be on the left from the main lobby. So now we are back at that spot at the main lobby where that huge, um, you know, water feature was. And we are going to walk straight through past the lobby now. And this is a huge sitting area to the right. There is a cafe. So as you see, everyone, um, you know, is sitting in here, hanging out and they have a waitress that comes around if you want any drinks or you can go up to the cafe itself and get yourself some drinks so today was a little bit on the gloomier side um you know when i was filming so there was a lot of people here just hanging out because the sun was not burning which actually really helped me filming because i was able to do this in the middle of the day and i wasn't uh you know overheating because normally i like to do these first thing in the morning because of the mexican sun so when you come out here to this general area, to the left where you saw those staircases, actually the um, outside entrance to that main buffet that we saw. Just so you guys know, that is the main buffet. You don't only have to access it to that. And to the right, those staircase is where you would go for the nightly entertainment and the sports bar. So everything again kind of coincides. It all It is all 360 even in the main lobby. So that way you guys know again as soon as you get here where everything is. So now we're, this is basically what you would assume is a straight shot from the main lobby all the way down to this path pathway here is where you will find all of the carts that will bring bring you or the trolleys that will bring you all throughout the bahia compound so if you don't know in the bahia compound there is also the bahia principe luxury akumal the bahia Pin principe luxury 
um, Tulum, and there's also Sian Khan, which is the adults only. And with those carts or those trolleys, you can get to any of those, and also they will take you to the beach. So if you're looking for trolleys, it will either be in the front by the lobby, or it will be right over here. Now, as we walked past, we are now going toward the right. So once you get all the way down past that walkway from the main lobby, we are gonna go toward the right and this is where all of the main stuff is. There is a teens club and there is also, as you can see right here, a um, really just you know cute little pool area for all the kids. As you see the slides and everything else. So it's super fun and the water is very shallow so kids can enjoy. Now the main pool area here in Grand Coba is very big. You will see, I mean, I was walking around this and I'm like, oh my God, this is, <laughs> this is really, really big. Um, but I did it for you guys. So as you can see here, but this main area, because it was closer to the pool section, you can see how the little ones are still able to kind of stand in certain sections, which I did like, because again, the adults and the kids can utilize the pool. Uh, you walk in, it's shallow, and then it can get deeper, so at least the kids are you know, um, enjoying the bigger pool with you as well. They had games all day with the pools, and you could see on the left that those, you know, those stairs right there, so you don't have to do the full 360 walk through um, of the pool like I am. There is a little, um, you know, there is a little bridge that connects you from one side to the other. So if you want to get from, you know, one side of the pool to the other, you don't have to do this full 360 walkthrough as I am. But again, for the sake of this video, I want to show you everything that, um, you know, you would find walking through here. So here is obviously where uh, you would really want to know where everything is. And this is the bar. So they do have waiter service here, or you can just come up and order. And then on the other side, they do have the swim up portion of the pool, the pool bar, I should say, as you can see right there. Also, they do have nice jets, so you can sit in there and get a, you know, a little massage in the pool, but it is not heated. Just take that into consideration. It is just a, like a nice, relaxing, kind of chill out, hang out spot, but it is not heated like you would think of a jacuzzi. It's just more of a jetted tub inside the pool itself. And you could just see how beautiful and grand everything is, right? It's very, very big. I really loved the pools on the entire um, resort here at Bahia Principe Grand Coba. So I continued going, sh um, you know, straight just a little bit, and then I went toward the right. And you will see all these walkways, so they will make sense once you get here. And now toward the right is where you will fall onto one of the main specialty restaurants that's in the Grand Coba. And then to the left, you'll see that there are some sitting areas, and that is the snack bar. So I went toward the right so you could see the specialty dining, but also I love this little sitting area. If you could see that there was hamacas or hammocks that were on the trees, which I absolutely love. You really get to just kind of sit there and veg out, you know, in the tropical, uh, you know, weather and everything else and really relax on your vacation. So I love that they had those hamacas in the tree. So here is one of the specialty restaurants right now. And with the specialty restaurants, you do have to make reservations. So I do have a video about the food at the Bahia Principe um, Akumal, but the information that I give on that video is basically the same information that I will give you guys right now. And that is that you do need to make reservations for the specialty restaurants. And if you are staying at the Grand Coba, you still have access again to all of the Bahia Principe compounds, which means that you can go and have the specialty restaurants at any of the other resorts on the compound, again, like Akumal or Tulum or Sian Khan, which, um, you know, my favorite was actually one restaurant was at, at the Tulum, and then the other one was um, where I was staying at Akumal as well. So once we go past the um, the snack bar, excuse me, once we go past the snack bar, I made another right because again, we're gonna be going all the way around now from where that 
main pool was and from the lobby. And once you make a right, you will see another little pool and this is for the kiddos again, um, which is obviously really great because everyone comes to the Grand Coba that is, a, that is family because they have little ones and they want to keep them entertained. So that one is obviously a lot more chill, it's smaller, but it's still a really nice little pool that the kids can enjoy and you could get some quiet time as well. So I just continued down the path going toward the right and here is another pool right here. This one is more for the premier um, the premier clients. So this was a private area that had the gazebos and stuff. But still, if you are a premier client or you're possibly thinking about it and you're going there to see if it would be worth it or not for you, then that's definitely something um, you, know, you can take a look out for. So throughout here is basically where all of the rooms are. All, you will see all of um, the signs. You can see one to the right, right over there, where they have all the building numbers. So it's really not that difficult to get lost. And again, those parts would bring you to your room. So now I made a left. And down this walkway is where you will find the main pool number two. And this pool is just as massive. So the reason why Grand Coba is so big, and another bar guys, um, the reason why Grand Coba is so big is because Bahia actually had another resort that was the Bahia Principe Premier. But what they did, because the Premier and Coba were so close to, e to each other, they actually shut down, kind of shut down the Premier, or they just stopped really marketing the Premier, and now this is all part of the Grand Coba. So the Grand Coba is really so big because they put the Premier and the Coba together. So this is another section of the Coba that you guys can hang out. And there is, um, you know, like no kids uh, swimming area. So this one was more full of adults and those funny little guys over there. Again, there is a bridge because this pool is ginormous. It has a bar and everything else but right now we're actually going to hook a right and that the reason why we're going to make a right real quick is so I can show you what's on what is near excuse me what is near the pool before I continue going all the way around and end up at the lobby so that way again you guys know where things are so at this second pool toward the right is where you will find the snack bar and this ends up turning into a restaurant at night. So that way when you guys are here for lunch, you don't think you have to walk all the way back to anywhere. This will be, um, you know, this does open up for lunch and it has um, a buffet just like the other snack bar, but this one was a lot bigger, La Casita it's called. This one was a lot bigger, um, you know, than the other one that we had seen at the main pool. So just know that you do not have to go all the way back for food, which was really nice. Now, continuing on down to this path right here is where you will find another one of the specialty restaurants that is on, um, you know, the Grand Coba side. And this is the Mediterraneo restaurant. Straight ahead, if you can see it, that used to be the check-in area for um, the premiere, like I was saying, but they have closed it and it's just really a standing building and there's nothing really going on in there as well. They just use it for storage and they park some stuff in there, but behind it is actually a shopping area, which if you guys need to do some souvenir shopping, I walk down there. So I will help you guys see what's down there and you can take a look for yourself. There's also a sitting area, which is really nice. And the bar section of the premiere is still open at night. So you guys have somewhere to hang out if your rooms are all the way on this side. So all of the the um, souvenirs and everything that I saw and the pricing was actually very fair so if you don't know I do live here in Mexico so I am very familiar with what prices should be and what they charge and if they're kind of you know ripping you off in a sense or not but for the convenience of not even having to leave the resort and still being able to get some souvenir and goodies for your family members the prices are still reasonable and a lot of um, the stores that are here are still the locals that are selling it and they work off commission. 
So why not try to support them a little bit and shop here as well, but you can always try to negotiate a price. Don't obviously try to get anything for free or insult them, but you can negotiate a price. So we just continued down that walkway and now we ended up at the third specialty restaurant that is here at the Grand Coba, that's Kasha. And I went right down that walkway and it brought us right back to this second main pool that um, we were just looking at before we detoured so I can show you the other restaurants and shopping. So again, there is a jetted area in this pool so you guys can go hang out and relax. And the pool itself, I just love how massive the pools are here at the Bahia Principe. And there's so much pool area that even though the resort was so busy, you never felt like it was overcrowded. So now we just continued walking past that and we are basically right in a sense where we had started off. So right here is where specialty restaurant Le Gourmet, just so you guys know. So I'm gonna continue down this path and this will all make sense about the 360 going around the entire um, resort. So if you just continue down this way, we are now gonna be passing by the spa and you can see people walking in the distance. So that is the pathway that will lead you back to the lobby, which means that this is the left side of the pathway when we got past the lobby and outside sitting area from the beginning of the video. So that concludes a 360 walking tour of the Bahia Principe Grand Coba. So here is that walkway, as I was saying, we started on the right side walking from the lobby and we ended up on the left side of that. So the left side is where you would have found the spa and also another restaurant and that second pool. And now we walk back to again where we were in the beginning of the video and this is that outside sitting area where right there you can have access to the main buffet from the outside. And then if you just walk around again this, um, I don't know if it's like a statue, it's a statue I guess. Uh, we will be walking right back to the main lobby. So I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. Enjoy, enjoy your stay at the Bahia Grand Coba, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.